Hello and welcome to this video lecture on coral reefs. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the definition of coral reef, distribution of coral reefs and conditions for growth of coral reefs. Coral reefs are masses of limestone and dolomite accumulated by lime secreting organisms known as coral polyps which are a kind of sea anemone which can be of various colors. It has a ridge-like shape with a broad base and a tapering top which gets flattened by the action of sea waves. Live coral polyps are found at its top. They are located close to the coast and separated by it by a lagoon. This world map shows the distribution of coral reefs. Coral reefs are found along the eastern margins of the continents between 30 degree north and 30 degree south latitudes, leaving the equatorial latitudes, that is area lying between 5 degree north to 5 degree south latitudes. They develop on the continental shelves or submarine platforms at suitable depths. Some old coral reefs are found up to 37 degree latitudes, which is explained by climatic change and continental drift. There are two major areas of coral reefs in the world, the Arabian Sea and the Indian Ocean and Western Pacific Ocean. Coral reefs require certain conditions for their growth. Temperature. Ideal temperature for the growth of coral polyps is 20 degrees Celsius, but under specific conditions, they can also develop between the temperatures of 18 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius. Depth of sea. The ideal depth of sea water for the growth of coral reef is 45 to 55 meter, but it can also develop till a depth of 19 meter. The reefs cannot develop if the depth of the water is less than 10 meter. The reef can develop till the depth of water where the sunlight is able to penetrate the water and where planktons can grow. Salinity Sea water having a salinity of 27 per thousand to 40 per thousand creates ideal conditions for the growth of coral polyps. High saline water is injurious and uncongenial for coral growth due to the lack of carbonate of lime in it, which is the main food of these organisms. Fresh water is also harmful and kills the coral polyps. Sediment free water. The living corals demand a sediment free water as turbidity is an important factor limiting their growth. Sediments clog the mouth of the coral polyps, killing them, which stunts the growth of the reef. Presence of plankton. Planktons are food for coral polyps, thus their availability is important for the growth of coral reefs. Existence of submarine benches or platforms. Another condition for the growth of a coral reef is the existence of a submarine bench or a platform at an ideal depth on which corals start their colonies. Those polyps which find ideal conditions for growth and ideal resting places start their colonies. They grow in two ways, upwards till they reach the low tide level and outwards from the land due to the abundance of food gained in the open sea. This outward growth determines the width of the coral reef. Consequently, a shallow water lagoon develops in between the land and the reef as the coral polyps on the landward side of the reef are killed due to excess of sediments in the motionless water of the lagoon. The width of the lagoon increases with the growth of the coral reef and the erosion of the landward side of the reef. I hope the lecture was quite clear. These are some of the references that you can refer for your further clarification of the subject matter. Thank you.